Hello, covenistas. Hello, gorgeous women of the Awkward Enchanted Coven. I am here on a whim. I feel really inspired, and I feel so inspired. My cheeks are warm. It's been a really interesting couple of days, and yay, welcome, Natasha. There's so many beautiful new enchantresses here in this coven, so I want to say welcome. Welcome to you, especially joining around now. It feels really special because even though it's winter here in New York, the birds are starting to chirp and I actually see earth growing. And when the earth is growing, because we're all into magic on some level here, it's like I imagine the enchantresses are starting to come out of the earth, out of their hiding shells, out of the contractedness into the openness. And it, I feel excited, I feel welcoming and really proud that so many women are finding this coven. So it's Valentine's Day and for a very long time I was a preschool teacher so it was just silly fun. Like I would put stickers on my face and have a playful party for the kids. And now that I no longer work with little kids, it's like I've carried over that kind of joy, whether you were the partner or not with a partner, you can think that the Valentine's Day hype and the cards is all bullshit. I kind of think it is too. But what I am into is ritual. And no matter what Valentine's Day means to you, you know when it is. Everyone knows it's February 14th. So what a fucking brilliant way to just have a marker in time to do something. So I invite you to do that for yourself almost like you do on New Year's, right? So maybe New Year's came and went and you had all these ideas, these vision boards, or maybe you never got to do a vision board. Who gives a fuck? Your rhythm, your timing, hello, Goddess Sonora, is the most important thing. So you could say fuck you to Valentine's Day, but what, what I want you to do is use this day, February 14th, as a marker to say fuck yes to something whether it's self-care, taking a bath, cleaning your bathtub, whatever it is, that you use it so that next Valentine's Day, you can be like, oh shit, I started this new habit or I did this thing. Like today, I wanted to go to the yoga class in the morning. I don't know what's happening. There's some self-sabotage happening in the morning. Hello, Marianne. So instead, I sweeped my entire fucking house. I took some pictures of stuff, put it on Poshmark. I cleaned. I did a bunch of other things. Oh, I did a ritual around saying goodbye to past lovers. And for me, it's like that was what I did on Valentine's Day. And next Valentine's Day, I'll be able to remember. So, sorry, I'm obsessing on this. So the idea of using a date a marker in time is a way to really push away any fears or any judgments. You know, you might not like a holiday, but you'll fucking remember it and take advantage of that. That's really exciting stuff. Um, last night, I taught the Lusty V Day online soiree, and it was such a cool experience. I really love teaching burlesque style, sex magic, um, honoring the feminine. And here's the good news. First of all, if you're in the Fuck Your Fears course that's coming up, you get it for free. So make sure you can sign into that. The other thing is you can buy it. It's 25 bucks and it comes with the playlist, the video, um, some journaling questions and what else? Oh, and a place to write down all the tips and tools that you got. There must've been 20 things I gave. Um, so you can do that in the Awkward Academy, which is on Teachable, and there's a bunch of free stuff in there as well. So go over there and play. Um, and other than that, I really want to wish you a happy day, a happy February 14th, whatever it means to you. And if you watch this, I'd love to know what ritual you choose to do on this date and declare it and let us know, let all your sisters here know what what you came up with, what you did. Maybe you flip your mattress today. Um, I have a million ideas. I'll give you some more. 
Um, maybe you clean out your attic. Maybe you flip your mattress. You sweep. Maybe you throw away old underwear and bras, like the stuff that's like you got got to go. Um, maybe you give away ten books. Maybe you paint. Maybe you take a run around the block. Maybe you clean out your bedroom underneath the bed. You know, simple shit. As you can tell, cleaning is on my mind. Um, but it's more than cleaning. As an enchantress, you want to clear space so new stuff can come in. And if you're worried or you're holding on to something tight, then it's time to release it. And even if nothing comes in, there will be space there. And imagine your mind wasn't a clusterfuck of all kinds of shit. So thank you, Anora. So making your like love day something you do that's loving for yourself. And if you want to spend your time poo-pooing on Valentine's Day or you want to spend your time judging it, hating it, loving it, I don't know, or just letting it slide by do, and doing nothing, choose something. I mean, it could be self-care. It's all self-care if you do it with intention. So I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. And join in, if you haven't already, on writing your desires. I want to know what they are. I want to hold the visions for you. Okay, Anora is going to do yoga as an act of self-love. So beautiful. That's what I skipped this morning. So I'm glad someone's doing yoga today. Good work. All right. And in the meantime, also make sure you are playful. You know, I have so many things to do on the computer right now. And I can breathe, which I was doing to calm my nervous system. But I was like, when I breathe, I might as well breathe into the bubbles and make bubbles. So have your bubbles handy. All right, Enchantresses, have a magical rest of your day, whatever you do, and let us know what you're doing. Mwah.